Anne of Anne Was Here. Um, if you like my video tutorials, I would love it if you would go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is called Anne Was Here, and like any of the videos that you've watched and liked. That would be really helpful to help me continue getting um, these tutorials out to you guys. Today I want to show you how I use Photoshop to change the color of an object um, aside from using the hue saturation tool. The hue saturation tool is the obvious go-to to change a color, but as if you've used it before, you probably know it's not always very accurate and it doesn't achieve um, every color that you want it to. So there's another way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do that today using the gradient map tool. And I'm also going to show you how you can change it to white, which is hard to do with the hue saturation tool, but you can easily do with the gradient map tool. And um, the reason I like to change a lot of things to white, like this dress that this girl is wearing, um, is because I want to put my patterns on it. And um, the best background to put your patterns on is a white background. So to start, you want to select the dress. And for this one, because it's a pretty well-defined shape, I'm going to try using the quick selection tool, which is a smart, um, I'm going to zoom in. It's a smart selection tool that kind of guesses what you're, you're wanting to select. I'm going to increase, you can increase and decrease the size. So there it really quickly did a pretty good job. Um, I want to add some in right here. I'm going to make the size smaller and add in a little bit under the hair. And then here, this area, I want to subtract. So I'm going to um, hold down Alt and then drag it in the areas I want to get rid of. And then I'm going to make it smaller to get these little areas and hold down Alt again to get rid of the little um, smaller areas that aren't part of the selection. I'm going to add in a little bit on the corner. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to use my um, lasso tool, hold down Alt, and get rid of a little bit of the hair it picked up there. So that looks pretty good. So once you have your selection, click on the adjustment, um, add adjustment layer. And um, if you go to hue saturation, you know slot by sliding this, um, you can the slider you can get some different colors. But because it's already a light um, color, the light yellow, it's going to be mostly pastel light colors. And you can get you know like say we want to get hot pink. I'm going to get generally in that range. If you play with the lightness and the saturation, you can get to kind of a hot pink, but it's always it's going to be a little um, blown out. As you can see, it, it looks a little off, like it doesn't look like a real photograph would. The color is a little crazy. So for accuracy, instead of using the hue saturation tool, I would take that same selection and I'm just holding um, command and clicking on the mask there to reselect it. I'm going to get rid of this hue saturation layer. And I'm going to add instead, using my adjustment layers, a gradient map. I don't know what the default is. For some reason, mine's like this. But um, I think it might be black and white. But anyways, this side is, the left side is dark. So I'm going to make that black because I want my shadows to be black. And the right side is what your brightest color is. So I'm going to pick like the hot pink that I want. And so there you've got it pretty good. But the darks seem a little dark. So I'm going to hold Alt and drag another color point on this gradient scale. And double click it. And go to that hot pink range and then pick a darker like not black, but more of a purpley, darker shaded version of that hot pink. And I'm gonna, you can slide it around to play with like how dark it is and how light it is and where it shows up. And then again, I want the, the it seems like it needs some brighter areas, so I'm gonna drag this over a little bit and then hold down Alt and drag another point here and double click 
or you can double click on the color area and make a a brighter pink for the highlights. And again, you can slide these around until you have a version of it that you like. And I think that looks pretty good. And I think it looks much more realistic and accurate than using the hue saturation tool. So that's adding a gradient map to change the color. Um, and you can do that with any color just by changing these um, points. So now if I want to make it white, which is really hard to do with the um, hue saturation tool, you can do it, don't get me wrong, if you play around with it enough, you can do it, but I don't think it's ever going to be as good and you're not going to have as much control as using this gradient map. So I'm going to get rid of these color points by just dragging them off and I'm going to change this one to white. And there it is, like really quickly, already a white dress. Um, I think the shadows are a little too intense, so I'm going to drag another point and just do like a darker gray. And if you feel like it's a little blown out, you can also drag another point here and just do a really light gray until you feel like it doesn't look so blown out. And you can drag this to brighten up the brightest areas. So I think that looks pretty good. So the next thing I would do if I want to apply my own pattern to this dress is open up my pattern. And this is a pattern that I've designed. Um, and I'm going to do Command A and Command C. So select all and then copy. And go back and paste my pattern on top. And then I'm going to resize it to kind of fit right over the dress. And I'm just going to take the mask that I already have on that gradient map that I created and hold Alt and click and drag it up to my um, pattern swatch layer. And then um, if you unlink it, this little um, link image right here by clicking on it, that allows you to move the pattern around without having to move the, the mask itself. So the mask will stay on the dress, but see I can move my pattern around. So I'm going to move it until I like its position. And I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to lock it back up so that if I move the layer, it all moves together. And I'm going to set that layer to multiply. And that way it picks up the shading and the shadows of the dress so it looks real. One thing that happens when you multiply over something that's gray or from shades of gray to white is it looks darker than you want it to. So I'm just going to go to my adjustments and add a brightness contrast layer and clip it to that um, pattern so that it doesn't affect the whole image, just that pattern. And I do that by holding Alt. You can see you can undo it, but if you hold Alt, you get this little down arrow and it just clips it in. And then I'm just going to adjust the brightness of my dress so it's um, the brightness that I want to achieve on there. And see, there you have, you've got my pattern on this girl's dress, and it looks really great. It looks like a photograph to me. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. Again, head over to my YouTube channel, Anne Was Here, and um, become a subscriber if you want to get updates on my new videos and follow along as I post them. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.